first take out of all items from the package. There are monitor, backup camera, power cord, monitor bracket, cigarette lighter, manual, screws. This is the screen protective film. You can tear off or not tear off the protective film. In order to protect the screen, we recommend not tearing off. There is an iron piece here to hold the magnetic bracket. This is an antenna screw hole. There are three buttons, plus key, M key, key. Install the antenna on the monitor. Like my operation. Now we will demonstrate how to install the bracket. Align the two holes and snap them. Like my operation. Press and hold the push button on the front and back at the same time. You can take it down. Like my way. Loosen the screws. After aligning the hole, press firmly into it. Tighten the screws. There are magnets for fixing the monitor. Pick up the back of the monitor. Like my operation, align the magnetic bracket with the round hole on the back of the monitor and put it on. Tear off the protective film of the base. You can paste it where you want. Pull up this buckle like me. Put it in the position you want and pull down the buckle to fix the bracket. Pull up the rubber rope to pick up the magnetic bracket. Pick up the camera. The camera angle can be adjusted flexibly like my operation. Here is a screw. When you fix the angle you want, you can tighten the screws. The brown bin wire is antenna pigtail wire of camera. Please don't cut it or the camera don't transmitting the signals. You can fix it with a tie or bandage. Take out the tie. Tie these lines like me. You can tie it anywhere on the car. Pick up the camera power cord. This is a 4-pin connector. Pick up the license plate. There are 4 license plate holes to fix the camera and license plate with screws. Align the camera bracket hole with the license plate screw hole. The license plate camera can be hidden behind the license plate. The camera angle can be flexibly adjusted. You can also install the camera in front of the license plate. Like my operation. Align the camera bracket hole with the license plate screw hole. Take out the power cord. This is a power board. No, please do not cut off this power board. If you cut it will burn the camera. Now connect the power cord and 4-pin connector. Like my operation. The other end of the power cord is a thin red wire and black wire. You need to unplug the rubber at the end of the cord. Like my operation. Take out the monitor DC power cord. This is a DC connector. Then connect the power cord and the monitor. You can use a tool to cut off the outer insulator. Be careful not to cut the copper wire. Like my operation. Now merge the two black wires. Then merge the two red wires. Take out the green connector. The plus sign means positive, the minus sign means negative. Use a tool to loosen the screw like me. Insert the merged red wire into the positive plus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screw. Insert the merged black wire into the minus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screw. Take out the cigarette lighter adapter. Then plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The monitor lights up. The testing finished. Now disconnected all the wires. The power cord can be connected to fuse box, a CZ radio, ignition switch. Now disconnected the power cord. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. 
plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The monitor lights up. Showed no signals. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the power source of backup lighter tail light or license plate light. The black wire is connected to the negative wire of the backup lighter tail light or license plate light. Pick up the monitor. It's CAM1 channel now. Like my operation. Press down key to quickly turn on the guidelines. Press down key again to quickly turn off the guidelines. Press up key to switch the CAM2 channel. Press up key again to switch the split channel. Press up key again to switch the CAM1 channel. Press the menu key to enter the menu mode. Press up or down key to adjust brightness. Press the M key to switch to the saturation. Press up or down key to adjust saturation. Press the M key to switch to the contrast. Press up or down key to adjust contrast. Press the M key to switch to the flip image. There are four modes normal image, mirror image, vertical normal image, vertical mirror image. Press the up key to switch normal facing image and mirror image. Press the down key to switch vertical normal image, vertical mirror image. Press the M key to switch to the height and width. Press the down key to adjust the height of the guideline. Press the down key to adjust the height of the guideline. Press the up key to adjust the width of the guideline. When M appears on the screen, it means moving left and right. Press the up and down keys to move the guideline left and right. Press the menu key to switch to the pairing. When the screen has an image, it does not need to pair. You can add a second camera, not included in the package, into this system for expanding two cameras. If you want to get second camera, you can contact us through email to get it with no charge. One is to connect the RV camera, like my operation. There are two infrared lights and a sensor. The other is to short the bracket camera, like my operation. Take out the license plate. You can install the camera anywhere on the license plate, like my operation. You can use screws or 3M stickers to fix the camera. Now we demonstrate using 3M stickers to fix the camera. Take out 3M sticker. Tear off the 3M sticker and paste it on the bracket. Then tear off the 3M sticker and paste it where you want. You can also align the camera bracket hole with the license plate screw hole. Fix the camera to the license plate with screws. Now we are connecting the RV camera into this system. Install the antenna on the RV camera. Like my operation. Take out the power cord. Connect the power cord in the RV camera. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the power source of backup light or tail light or license plate light. The black wire is connected to the negative wire of the backup light or tail light or license plate light. Please cover the light sensor on the camera and the camera infrared nights will turn on dull red, like my operation. Next, demonstrate how to pair the second camera to the monitor. Pick up the monitor. Now power off the first camera. No image on the monitor. Press the up key to switch CAM2 channel. Press the menu key continuously to switch to pairing. Press the up key to enter pairing. The image appears on the monitor that paired successfully. Power on the first camera. Like my way. Press the up key to switch the split channel. Press the up key again to switch the CAM1 channel. Press the up key again to switch the CAM2 channel. Press the down key to turn on off the guidelines. Like my way. Press the menu key to enter the menu mode. The second camera adjusts the menu button bar, etc. The settings are the same as the first camera. Please see the previous operation video 525 seconds. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole.
camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom 